Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Java is a statically typed language, which means that all variables must have a defined type at compile time. However, starting with Java 10, a new feature called var was introduced, which allows local variable type inference. This means that you can declare a variable without explicitly specifying its type, and the compiler infers the type based on the assigned value. While Java doesn't have a type called any like some other programming languages, example TypeScript, you can achieve similar functionality using generics or the object class, which is the root class for all Java objects. Hashtag 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 using generics. Generics allow you to create classes, interfaces, and methods with a placeholder for types. This is useful when you want to create a class or method that can operate on objects of various types while providing compile time type safety. Here's a simple example of a generic class and method. Hashtag 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 explanation of the example. One generic class box T. The box class is defined with a type parameter T. It has a private field item of type T, a setter, set item, to assign a value, and a getter, get item, to retrieve the value. 2. Generic method print array. This method accepts an array of type T and prints each element. The type T is determined at the time of the method call. 3. Main method. The main method demonstrates the use of the box class with different types, string and integer. It also shows how to use the generic method printarity with both an array of integers and an array of strings. Hashtag 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 using object class. If you want to store different types of objects in a single variable or method, you can use the object class, since all classes in Java inherit from object. However, you will need to perform casting when retrieving items, which can lead to runtime errors if not handled properly. Here's an example using the object class. Hashtag 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 explanation of the object example. One method print object, object object. This method takes a single parameter of type object. It simply calls to string, on the past object and prints it. To main method. In the main method, Instances of string and integer are created and passed to the print object method, demonstrating that you can pass any type of object. Hashtag 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 conclusion. While Java does not have an any type similar to some dynamic languages, you can utilize generics or the object class to achieve similar functionality. Generics provide a type safe way to work with multiple types while the object class allows for more flexibility at the cost of type safety. Understanding when to use each approach is essential for effective Java programming.